morning everyone morning. it was amazing a little bit cold but eventually we got uh, warm water so here's the main reception but we stayed here that's a hostel and this is a hotel so we had an evening over there on the top somewhere over here and now we're heading there because there's our breakfast and you can get it there too we're surrounded by beautiful mountains just fyi the guys then they'll be walking over there a um, few people are going i'm staying and in case you wonder what that is this is near the sea hat <laughs> and i'm in the mountains oh and i'm wearing keys sweater like keys check this out Yesterday we were sitting over there and we're heading over here for breakfast. Pudding, white pudding, Irish sausages. Look at the view. This is the back, which you can see behind the hotel, and um, this, they're not going to climb on this mountain. <laughs> Just a fire. Second of all, as I said, if you're staying in a hotel, the breakfast is included. If you're staying in a hostel, you have to pay extra twelve fifty. Right, so I gave a lift to the lads and they're going to spend in the mountains where I want to walk until three. So six hours, maybe five and a half. It's very cold. You may see over here that we have a bit of snow. So finger crossed that they stay warm. And I'm going back to the hotel, hostel, meet other people. And as you can see, there's a really, really cute um, parking space and you can see some sheep around. <laughs> so cool. And uh, we, on the way, to the spot of the point. Uh, I think that was Merino. And was I right? These are not. They have different horns. Okay, so the plan is to go back, pack. We have a time till 12 o'clock to um, give the cards from our room. And again, we stayed in the hostel and then we'll go back. Probably I'll stay in the lodge, in the hotel and knit for a bit and um, wait for the signal from Seb. He's sending me coordinates every bit in a while where they are so I can check it on my mobile. Although be aware that if you're Connemara, any area in Connemara, the coverage is not as great. Normally what, you have four kind of bars, maybe one, two, it's a really good thing. So about that okay so let's go and enjoy this lovely view at Abbas so I'm going straight until I hit the junction I will turn and then I will go straight and make the flight of the hotel so it's not too awesome to have that bed let's have fun and I'm in the car but I just had to stop and show you this the beauty of a Connemara is there's no traffic whatsoever well there is a thing in there but ah uh, there's no one around so check it out we have beautiful lake and the mountains and believe me in person it looks even way better so cute okay so see if I can 
do this. Look at this. I just have to tell you, I just have to tell you, I was driving for like, well, 10 minutes, 15 minutes on the gear too, so so slow because the views are so amazing and I'm on my own over here. In the one case, it's pretty cool because you can enjoy the views on your own. On the second thing, I know I could be feared in case something happened, but what else can happen? Uh, yeah, you can see some houses from time to time a bit here and there, but oh, so cute. No worries, no one is in front of me and no one is behind me. There's loads of sheep. I've seen already, like I think that was Merino again. So beautiful. I've seen I think another two, but I'm not an expert. I see another beautiful mountain. Let's check this out. And this is what I see right now. Beautiful valley and mountains. So beautiful. Places like that, wild. Not so many people can kind of help you out to live in the moment. Basically means not to think about anything in the past or neither in the future and just enjoy the moment, the present. Think where you are, what you do. Do you see that little block? Um, I was knitting a bit on those lovely socks and I'm now waiting in the car for a group to come down from the mountains. And those ones. So here it is, I'm on an empty road and it looks just divine. Isn't it the best spot for knitting? And I'm just waiting for the group to come back and chill knitting in the car. Now, so here it is, a view from my car. Can you believe it? On my own, enjoying knitting. And I'm knitting these socks um, and I put a bit of a panel I'm not following any pattern so I think it's so cute especially when I put my hand in check it out what do you think and this yarn is quite special for me because um, I got this yarn from a stash from Kay and I'm a big fan of Baker Bears they do an amazing job with their podcast uh, so if you're looking for something to watch I would say go have a go and uh, this is the yarn that I got. This is the fourth yarn out of five that I got from Kay. And I was able to grab it when she posted on Instagram. I think that time she had three sets of five and I was able to pick one. And this is how the socks knit up. So this is not that I'm mixing. It's just the yarn, as you can see, creates some spots here and there and gives this lovely pattern. Not every sock does it. From perspective of putting the color on label, that you can see how it looks. They may give you some a gist or something, but this is quite, quite lovely to have the information like that. And what you say, what would you say? Is it exactly the same? I think so. We have brown and dark. I quite enjoy it. I can't complain. I get a nice definition on US size one over here, 56 centimeter, 56 stitches over here, not centimeters, I'm sorry. Uh, normally it's like nine centimeters for me over here when I put the socks flat. Um, that's my kind of preferable width. And yeah, I'm getting a really nice stitch definition over here. I really like it. I love this panel. I'm not sure what will, is going to happen next once the group comes down. We're going to drive back to Hostel Hotel. Are we going to eat there? I'm not sure. Uh, so we shall see. And then if not there, we may eat somewhere else. Or we can go back home and eat at home. I don't have a clue. So uh, that's a quite cool. We used to have a blog and we used to run uh, free every month um, trips and 
the website doesn't work anymore but you can definitely have a peek on the Facebook page maybe I'll put the link down below if you want to have a sneak peek of my past I love people love to do that so if you one of them and you want to have a glimpse go we had amazing time you we were going hiking caving and so on and so on because subslop loves as you could probably notice uh, stuff like that uh, we shall see how it goes and maybe one day one day we're going to stay there too i don't know that'd be so cool this uh, hotel it's um i think the night is 150 i would say for three people for a room uh that includes breakfast uh one day maybe we'll stay there Someone stopped not sure what they're doing now that a van is turning and coming my way so here it is, I'm waiting for the guys and I see them coming. Check it out. You can see them. And meanwhile, I'm watching Grace, an Irish podcaster. And we're in Connemara. As you can see, I'm watching Grace and the guys are coming! Yay! Hey, Kat. So how do you feel? How was it? Uh, it was excellent. Did you like it? Yeah, it was snow on the top, so I will show you the pictures and the, and the movie what we make. So. Okay, I'll put... Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to put the link down below? Yes, you can, yeah. So check it out! Thanks for watching!